Hello, Aquarius. We're going to pop into your universe for the next 48 hours. I kind of feel like someone here, there's a lot of magic that's flowing in your universe to heal some type of embarrassment. Um, whether this is your booze energy or your energy, I feel like there may be some uncertainty or some unease, um, maybe a fear of getting involved. I, I feel like that fear derives from um, kind of like the imbalances of the two, like, right? There's something about the number two that's significant here between the two of you guys. So with the Knave of Wands, the Five of Swords, and then the Ten of, I mean, it's just, it's apparent that there is something going on on the planet today. Or maybe this week, I kind of feel like maybe spiritual warfare is at an all-time high within your relationship, union, marriage. And I feel like someone here is actually praying or wondering or just kind of like wanting to connect with spirit or source. Like, how do I squeeze this out of my life or how do I transform this into power? So I feel like this next 48 hours, you and your boo are not necessarily being... Like, I don't know. It's like y'all's future... Not future selves. It's like y'all's spirit selves is kind of saying like not to flee from your emotions. Like you really just have to dig into them and the true essence of what it is that you guys really desire from each other. Um, I started watching Twilight again last night. I don't know what it was about, maybe because I was watching Twilight on a Venus day. It was hitting me very different. Like there's some things I was, ha I was watching Twilight Eclipse. Um, Breaking Dawn Part 1 is not necessarily my fave. I can say like out of the whole installment, I had New Moon and Breaking Dawn Part Breaking Dawn Part 1, I could have done without, but that's just my personal <laughs> that's just my personal opinion. I felt like I I I don't I don't necessarily feel like it was drawn out. I just kind of feel like it didn't it didn't fit the narrative. Like I just feel like and I get it, you know, everybody's creativity is different. But there was something about trying to force the third party into the narrative of Twilight when it didn't even really, it was it was a non-factor, right? So I'm probably saying all this babble because the Five of Swords is here. Maybe you guys, next 48 hours, you're shaking things up. I feel like just kind of trying to overcome some type of judgment or shame. It's a lot of shame here, but I feel like it's mental shame. And I say that because the five and 10 of swords. So 15 may be significant. The next five to 10 days may be significant for this relationship, this union or marriage. I'm really trying to get away from saying union. Um, and I say that because I kind of landed on conservative YouTube. And, and, you know, sometimes you don't, sometimes it's hard to, sometimes it's hard to know a thing if you don't hear it. You know what I mean? Like, I hope this may, or if it doesn't, I mean, should not. It's almost as if like you guys aren't really hearing what it is that is, what's the word that I'm looking for? More so like electrifying, penetrating, like, may, I mean, man, I don't see that again. Or just kind of like what gives the two of you guys this power. I feel like you kind of hear like a lot of things in terms of like unreliability or abandonment, or I feel like maybe you're kind of just always been around people that's like, you know, gimme, 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 like what, what do I have to gain from this situation? So I feel like the next 48 hours, you two are really just healing a lot of invisible abandonment wounds. Inter interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the detergent, par I think how to say is Paracel, like it gets rid of invisible dirt and like, I don't know, there's something significant about the color blue, maybe a lot of blue flame, like blue cleansing. I kind of feel like, I feel like somebody wants to get stupid high, stupid high, stupid high, stupid high. It's just like, there's just this feeling of like needing to relax. Maybe you and your boo, y'all's nervous systems are dysregulated right now. Or maybe you guys' nervous systems is dysreg dysregulated every day. And this next 48 hours is kind of just like balancing out in a way where you two can breathe a little bit. Maybe um, move forward on some plans, move forward on, you know, some type of decision. Bread may be significant here. I feel like you and this per. I feel like more so the feminine energy as opposed to the masculine energy is afraid of losing themselves in this relationship or marriage and 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 I and I feel like this two of wands is kind of two of wands with the six of pentacles I feel like it's saying to somebody out here if you're vibing with what I'm saying a lot of that derives from jealousy a lot of that derives from lovers or thought to be lovers of the past possibly even somebody that is trying to pop into your future and snatch okay or snag what they think they should have so I feel like maybe you're learning that it, it's okay for you to give your energy to your to your partner to yourself to 
not be neglected. So they're not neglected. I don't feel like they're neglected, viewer. I feel like maybe you feel like you're neglected a little bit or when you feel neglected, it's almost as if like these energies start to surface to make you feel like, oh, I should go somewhere else. I should do somewhere else. I'm not do somewhere else. Okay, maybe that's right. I'm not happy here. I need to rest. I need to wait this out. Um, Try adding more pepper to your dishes if that is, if it doesn't disturb you. If you can't do that, just sprinkle it around the house. Okay, because I feel like uh, what's happening next 48 hours is a lot of excitement to help the both of you guys kind of overcome this lack of affection. And I say the both of you guys because I feel like if your partner, your person's in this energy, uh, Aquarius, it's not necessarily that they want to be. I'm not trying to make excuses or validate anything that they're doing. However, when you look at it from the angle of the four swords, the four swords is some type of like, I mean, it could be an illness. I, I would hope it's not that that extreme, but I'm looking at what the four of what the four of swords entails it's like your your mind is telling you to rest because your body is not resting um this could be some type of like needing for caution recuperation um i listen i don't judge baby who you love who you love maybe some of you guys here you you love somebody that's in a jail cell or in some type of confinement but jail cell doesn't necessarily have to be a physical place we could be mentally trapped or feeling confined maybe you guys are staying home you know maybe it's just the energy waves are coming through that you and your boo are needing to stay home and it's kind of like you know that winter sadness like feeling trapped feeling depressed maybe feeling kind of sick and tired so i i feel like um I'm just kind of hearing like no more questions, like no more second guessing. Like I, I, I just feel like there's something that the two of you have to do, but there's something more so that you have to do, viewer, that is bringing in this fresh start. Now we do have the judgment coming out in the reverse. So I feel like both of you guys may be being a little bit too hard on yourselves, which in flip is kind of causing you guys to be a little too hard on each other. Um, I feel like maybe someone is doing some type of black magic or there's something about a black cat that's significant. Um, I feel like you two are kind of like learning. <laughs> I kind of feel like you two are learning that relationships and marriages require work to not let the mystery die, to begin again after each era. So say like, you know, in the in this community, they, people love to say no contact. And I feel like no contact is more so fitting a situation where y'all yeah, y'all really, y'all ain't been knowing each other that long. I would say like for me personally, I, there is no contact. There, that doesn't exist in my universe because what's going on? I, do I have a time frame of how long I'm going to give space? Absolutely. That's based on my personal relationship. That's based off my per, my personal healing journey where I, you know, is that always what's healthy for my relationship, marriage? No, no. And I feel like that's why the judgment is here to kind of show you guys, in a sense, these unexpected bursts, bursts that come to transform stagnant situations. You guys deal with a lot of stagnant situations and I don't necessarily feel like it is your fault. I feel like people are trying to put you there or there's a lot of energy interference, a lot of energy interference. Leo, fifth house may be significant here, okay? It could be that you guys are healing your fifth house more this next uh, 48 hours, whether you have fifth house or not. Um, maybe there's some struggles and blockages that are being opened up, released, and cleared that is maybe kind of preventing some manifestations from the fifth house. Ace of chalices in the Knight of swords. I, I do feel like this person loves to manifest you. I feel like this person loves to think about you. I also feel like maybe people from your past love to think about you, viewers. So definitely doing some cord cutting the next 48 hours. I feel like that's something I say a lot, but I feel like there's a lot of success and satisfaction and happiness that's coming to your love life, um, especially with the King of Wands, King of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles. Money may be a little funny right now, but I feel like that's flipping around. Um, the desire may be a little different right now. Um, I feel like you guys are learning to love yourselves and each other all at the same time. A little bit stressful, but I feel like the both of you guys have a handle on it. Um, I do feel like this person, commitment is very important to this person, viewer. I feel like sometimes their commitment is a little bit more quiet, but the determination is very much so mutual. But then I also feel like the energy work is mutual. So maybe some of you guys, you and your boo, or just both of you guys do a lot of energy work. Um, I do feel like someone here, um, just it's King of Pentacles, and I feel like maybe this could be a struggle 
struggle point, like not pursuing um, your partner over aggressively. Maybe some of you guys deal with a lot of spirit, heightened spiritual energies, um, maybe a lot of anxious energies that come through. And I feel like your person or your your lover, your bull's uh, self is coming, higher self is coming through to say that there is mutual efforts for the both of you guys to move towards each other. But for some reason, I feel like your boo really wants you to um, there's something about focusing, not focusing on yourself to the point where you're forgetting about them, but something about, damn it, <laughs> something about um, a fresh start, something about maybe someone's casting a fresh start, you're conjuring a fresh start. All right, toodle. <laughs> Just focus on